Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of The More You Know, um, learning some Latin. Uh, so today we're going to talk about dictionaries. Dictionaries are really important. Uh, and you might say, what's so hard about a dictionary? I already know how to use a dictionary. You don't. You probably don't. Especially not a Latin one, because it's a language that you don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry to bring the, be the bearer of bad news. You don't know Latin, and you don't know how to use a dictionary. For your purposes, you might not need one. Whitaker's Words Online is a great online Latin dictionary. Um, perfectly good for looking up one word here and there. If you want to know Latin and feel more comfortable with Latin, an actual physical dictionary is recommended. Uh, this is what I used all through college and even grad school, the new college Latin and English dictionary. Uh, and so it has both the Latin to English side as well as the English to Latin side. Makes it very easy uh, to switch around if you want to do some composition or just get a feel for some different words. Uh, it is probably sufficient for most people. If you want to do serious scholarly work, there are some other dictionaries you can have. Um, and then there are plenty of other dictionaries, uh, most of which will be fine. If you're watching this because you're mostly interested in learning church Latin, then you probably do want to get a dictionary that is specifically uh, ecclesial. Uh, and the reason for that is because while the grammar stayed pretty much the same between classical and church, uh, the word usage just changed a lot and what they were interested in talking about. Um, Christianity needs a lot of words that Latin didn't have. Uh, and I mean, Christianity is and was a world-changing religion, so it needs new vocabulary anyway. So um, definitely get a dictionary that has more church Latin uh, use if that's what you're going with. But if you're just more of a casual interest in Latin, something like this, I mean, this is like, I mean, nowadays you can probably get it for super cheap because nobody uses books, but it cost me $5.99 at Borders. Rip borders. Okay, now that I'm done with that moment of sadness, uh, I only have a couple minutes left, so I want to walk you through a noun dictionary entry. We're going to look at the word name in Latin, which is nomen. Nomen. So we have to go to the ends on the Latin side. And N is an easy one, but depending on your dictionary, I and J may or may not be separate, and U and V may or may not be separate. So uh, you'll have to double check whatever dictionary you look at uh, because that is an editorial choice. But if we look up nomen, we go N-O-M-E-N, -E nomen, name. So let's zoom in there. I hope it's focusing all right. Nomen, nominis, n name. Now, the first word in a noun entry is the noun in the nominative case. The second part in a noun entry is the noun in the genitive case, or in this case, the ending. You'll notice the dash, that dash separates the base of the word from the rest of the syllables. So when we want the genitive case, we keep the nom and then put in inis. And that is on the end tells us it's in what declension? Third declension. And the n that follows tells us what gender it is. So this is neuter. So when we describe it, like if you have a great name, we have to use the neuter forms of the adjective. And we'll be talking about adjectives later. Then it goes on to list all the ways of translating it, which are very many. As well, in this dictionary, you have expressions that are good to know. But that's all we can talk about today, so bye!